for VOA listeners in Africa, John Tanza is an accomplished journalist, host and managing editor of VOA South Sudan in Focus radio program. What many don't know is that John is a former refugee who spent years in Kenya's E4 Dada refugee camp. John joins me now live via Skype from Maryland to discuss his journey from a refugee to a journalist. John, welcome again to Africa 54. Thanks, Esther. Now, what circumstances led you to become a refugee? How old were you then? Well, I will start with my age. I was around 27 years old. But the circumstances that forced me to become a refugee was basically the war in, in South Sudan. You know, when I finished high school, there were no opportunities to go to the university. So I started venturing out from Cuba to Khartoum to Egypt to Syria, Democratic Republic. Republic of Congo, and then I ended up in Kenya, where I went to the Dab refugee camp. And what was life like for you? Because one would want to know from a young age like that, and to be known to be, you know, the top managing editor here for the South in Sudan Focus program, how did that happen? How did you become a journalist, John? Well, when I went to the Dab refugee camp twice, to, um, trying to resettle in the United States. Every time I go to the camp, the people who do the process are flying out of the camp. And when I travel back to Nairobi, they fly into the camp. So that was not my chance. So I decided to look for a scholarship to go for further studies. And uh, thanks to the church, <coughs> excuse me, thanks to the church missionary society, which is part of the Anglican church, they gave me a scholarship to go to Daystar University, and uh, I studied communication there for four years. After I finished, I was lucky, got hired in Nairobi on a USID project, the first independent media for what was then Sudan. I worked there as a journalist and manager for eight years. And then when we took the operation to Juba, which is today iRadio, VOA advertised a position for a senior reporter here to work on what was then known as Sudan in focus. And so I was interviewed and selected. That's how I ended up in the United States. John, briefly, what's your message to that refugee who is looking up to you to say, I wish I could be like John? What, when can their breakthrough moment come? What do they have to do? What's your message, John? I would just insist on this message that there is hope. When you come out of trouble, when you come out of conflict, there is hope at the end of the day if you work very hard. Nothing is given to you. You have to struggle to get what you want in life. Others are fortunate they have it, but there are some who are the majority who have to struggle, and the refugees fall in that category. You have to struggle for your future. 